their deepest fears revealed why they dread you do you know how afraid they are of you they are pretending to be so high and mighty they are acting like they are above everybody they want you and everybody else to bow to them to put them on a pedestal they act like they are the ones in charge like they have all the power but they know they have no power unless you give them that power they are just a container for your power you are the one who has given them that power without you they are nothing they know that you can decide at any time to take away your power from them as we hear in nature and the breeze is blowing the birds are singing smash that like button for the youtube algorithm they dread you they are afraid of you they are fearful of you it doesn't seem that way when they speak when they are on tv when they are on social media when they are making their speeches it doesn't seem that way they are so boisterous they are so arrogant acting like they are so infallible acting like everybody's below them they are the kings they are the queens you're a mere peasant they are afraid because they know that you hold the power you are the one who is really in control and not them there they are at the top of the pyramid but let's say those seemingly at the bottom of the pyramid or at the bottom of the pyramid that they have in their mind or they have built or exists let's say those at the bottom remove themselves what becomes of them the entire world comes crumbling you are like that pillar remove the pillars of the house remove the foundation and the house comes crumbling that is the end of the house that is the end of the palace that is the end of the mansion that is the end of the multi-million or even let's say multi-million dollar building that is the end of it that is the end of them so they are fearful of you despite what they may say or do they are pretending but they are afraid there they are unable to sleep at night what if they are afraid of what may happen because they have all of this quote unquote power all of this fake power and it feels good they and the corrupt people that they are it feels good they with all of the money they are stealing it feels good suppressing others down pressing cheating others lying all fake pretending making promises that they never keep fooling the masses fooling the people 
it feels good they are making all of this money it feels good nothing against people making money <laughs> nothing against it and a lot of it is done through ways that are not genuine hmm? for want of a better way to say it so they are there all afraid of what can happen so never for a moment never for a moment think that you are beneath you are not beneath you are beneath no one they are not above you we never said that you are above anybody but we are saying that they are not above you never for a moment think that because of their position they are above you they and the mortal men and women they are just like you there you are and someday you have to leave this planet from a physical standpoint because you you go on and on forever but the physical part of who you are is gonna say goodbye they too Hmm? And if it's a burial, they have to go in the ground just like you. They are not above you. So don't be afraid of any man. Don't be afraid of any woman. It doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter what position they hold. You maintain your dignity. You know that you are the one with the power collectively you are the one with the power you decide their fate you decide their destiny you are the one who decides whether they are on top or not so how can they be above you you are the one who put them where they are how can they ever be above you and many of them forget as soon as you give them that power sometimes it's via vote hmm? you give them that power as soon as you elect them as soon as you buy their products as soon as you give to them as soon as you subscribe to them as soon as you give you acknowledge them you recognize them as soon as you do that they forget you they act like they are above you forgetting who put them where they are sometimes it's a business place if you never bought their product where would they be today they would be broke they would have no money collectively you are the one buying the product but they act like they don't need you you have a situation you have a problem you report it they don't want to hear from you they are too big a lot of them started small but then they become too big for the person who helped them become quote unquote big so they know don't mind them they know that you the people can take it all away from them and many of them they are living in fear they are there knowing that you have the power not them they also know that what goes around comes around they also know that what they sow is what they will surely reap the law of sowing and reaping if you plant orange that is what you're gonna get you're not gonna get apples so whatever bad they have done will follow them they have to pay because of all the evil they are doing they are living in fear 
knowing that there is a price to pay. All of what they've said about people, about others, they know it has to come back to haunt them. It has to backfire on them. Understand karma, no death in the universe goes unpaid. They know that they have to pay their debts. Darkness versus light. Can you tell me which one is going to win? Light has to win. Darkness can never win. So they are coming with all of their darkness. And they realize there is so much light out there. They know that as soon as you shine your light, there goes their darkness. And because of what they've done, they know that the day is coming when they will be exposed. It has to be exposed because whatever was done in the dark has to come to light. Negativity versus positivity. There you are with all of your positivity. They are coming with all of their negativity. Hmm? They know that positivity always wins. They know that when you bring out all of this positivity, their negativity cannot win. Positivity always wins. I said, they are secretly afraid of you. They are afraid of you. They know that you are more powerful than them. They know that you are the one who give them their power. Without you, they have no power. It is all fake. They are really powerless. They need people at the bottom of the so-called pyramid. They are at the top of the pyramid but if the people do not support them, that is it for them. If the people do not buy their nonsense, that is it for them. Do you know how much power you have? A few people in control, quote unquote control, trying to tell you what to do. Trying to tell you what to eat, what to drink, what to put into your body. Hmm? trying their best to control you thinking that you must abide with what they say and what will they do divide and conquer that is why it's important to unite u n i t e unite i know you can spell unite unity is strength United we stand, divided we fall. They know that they can defeat you if you are not united. If you are divided, but as soon as you unite and you have one voice, that is the end of them and all of their evil. Unity is strength. It is so important to come together, to unite, to have this one voice and put an end to their nonsense, to what they are doing on this planet. They think they are so high and mighty, but deep down they are living in fear. Fear that you will unite. This is why they have used this divide and conquer rule all over the planet. They have used it to destroy countries, to destroy people, tribes and people and peoples. Hmm? Just divide them and you can control them. Let us put the people against each other and they've been doing that. People fighting against each other in support of these, those at the top. So your own brother is there fighting against you. Your own sister is there fighting against you within your family. 
Hmm? Within your neighborhood, your town, your own people are coming against you in support of people they don't even know. And that is what those are the so-called top. That is what they like. That is what they love because they know if you are divided, they can implement whatever they want to implement. They can control you. They know it. But then they see signs of people uniting. That is why you're not allowed to say so many things on the internet. If you search for certain things, you cannot find any information about it. They are silencing people, they are censoring people, they are deleting YouTube channels, they are deleting accounts, they are afraid of what you have to say. They are afraid of what the people have to say. They will not let you say what you want to say because they are secretly afraid. They know that if you speak, you will put, you will expose their darkness. So many things cannot be said today. If you say it, yes, you can say it, but not on their platforms because they own these platforms. Forgetting what is their support. Forgetting that without you, YouTube, there's no YouTube without you. There's no Facebook. There's no Instagram. But then the owners, they get swell-headed thinking it's all about them. And then you're not allowed to say anything that goes against their narrative, against their mainstream narrative. They are afraid. They are afraid that you or an influencer will say a certain thing that is really the truth and will expose the darkness. That will be the end of it for them. So they want you to remain quiet. They are afraid of what is going to come out. You say something, you type something on social media, there is this disclaimer or there is this note that takes you to some website where they refute whatever you're saying because it's not in keeping with their narrative. They are afraid. You are powerful. They are afraid of people like you because you don't go by what they say. You don't follow them like sheep. You do not follow them blindly. You have a say. You have an opinion. Just because they say you should, just because they say you should do a certain thing doesn't mean that you will do it. Just because they say this is how you should live your life means you will do it you should you will live your life according to what they say you think for yourself and because of that they are so afraid of you they are living in fear because they see you here watching me on this advancing channel they know that you think for yourself you do not just go by what they say they love people who follow them blindly they are not afraid of these people, no. You follow them blindly, you don't ask questions, that is what they love, but not you. You ask questions, you think for yourself. You do not agree with something just because it is on CNN or ABC or Fox or whatever, or call it whatever, or whatever mainstream channel or media outlet, no. And this is why they are afraid of you. They know that you are able to get people together to expose their darkness. Why is it that you cannot say certain things? Hmm? I'm not talking about anything where you're cussing and insulting. Well, they allow that, but why is it that you cannot speak about certain things? I cannot say the words or else the video there will be this disclaimer on this video. <laughs> hmm? I said they are afraid of you because you're so powerful. Never for a moment think that they hold the power and not you. 
the advancing one, the chosen one that you are. You are powerful beyond measure, one with God, one with infinite intelligence source, one with the universe. Hmm? Continue to be that good person that you are. Continue to shine your light. Hmm? Continue to do good and good will come back. You hold the power and as soon as we come together, as soon as the people come together, that is the end of their darkness. That is the end of it for them. Hmm? They only have the power you give them. As we here, I'm just here having fun with you, reflecting on what's going on on this planet. How about that? Speaking as I am guided. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. A lot of the things I said, it requires a level of thought to see where I am really coming from. Certain things you cannot say it directly. I appreciate you as we hear on this advancing channel. I look forward to reading your comments. Like the video if you haven't done so. Thank you for supporting the channel. I value and appreciate you. My name is Manchas. Once again, this is the advancing channel. I am saying one love, God bless, and all the best.